Hey, what has two thumbs and forgot to put a memory card in our gimbal? This guy. This guy. This is week two of our Disney World Marathon training. Oh man, we run uh, four miles today. So we can't leave uh, Millie alone for too long. So we're running around some familiar uh, <laughs> neighborhoods. But stick with us, we'll have a recap. Uh, we'll tell you what's going on. Last time we were out here, these houses weren't even here. And that wasn't that long ago. Wow. Oh my God. It's like eight in the morning and it's 81 degrees. It is so hot. We're in the middle of a massive heat wave and apparently it's just gonna get worse. 101 degrees today. Forecast 107 tomorrow. Oh my God. Oh, we're only like a mile and a half in. Okay, we're about uh, we're about halfway through, halfway there. Feels like we've run a marathon. I gotta tell you, man, it's oppressive, but we're doing it. Just uh, another two, and then uh, time for a recap. All right, we're at three miles. One more mile to go. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Pretty rough. At least we have a breeze. Yeah, that's true. It does feel nice right right now. Right. Oh, now the sun. Across the street for shade. Uh, here we go. Game of the game. Shade. Shade Hunters. Oh, that's a good band name. Write that down. All right, we have about a half a mile left. A little less than half a mile left to make our four miles. Uh, stick around for a recap. It's probably going to be a little different this time. But thanks for joining. <laughs> Remember. If you haven't, subscribe. And thanks a lot to all of our subscribers and thank you for watching. Uh, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. We like making these videos. Week two, Walt Disney World Marathon training. Oh. Hey, 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 here we are, week two of our Walt Disney World Marathon scheduled for 2023. 2023. 2023. Week two. Our plan was four miles today. We pulled it off even in the heat and humidity. Uh -huh. But first, uh, we just want to let everybody know our precious dog, Millie. She had that uh, major, major surgery 11 days ago. She's doing great. She's recovering. She's feeling so much better. She's still wearing the cone. We refer to it as the cone of the champions. Cone of champions. Because, you know, why she is, she is the champion she of is. champions. Yeah, she is. she is. She's the best dog in the world. Yeah, she is. No well, offense to all the other best dogs in the world out there, but she's seriously yeah. the best dog in the yeah. world. She, uh, she's doing uh, much better, so uh, we feel really good about it. It's and, coming uh, off in? 16 hours. Somewhere around there. And man, she needs a bath. Mm. Anyway. She stinks. So uh, that was awesome. So uh, we have not been able to leave her alone for uh, 10 days. The last time days. she had surgery, she easily found her way out of her yeah. cone multiple times. Yeah. So, so today was the first time. And we had planned on uh, running a fast four. And it was not. Now, uh, as an update... You know, we're working on our new uh, our new training plan and our new chart, and it's been really awesome. We each ran um, 20 minutes uh, this week uh, separately because, again, we couldn't leave Millie alone. And uh, I think each of us ran the fastest miles we've uh, run. In a while, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was pretty pretty quick. It was pretty quick. Uh, so we, it already... can be done. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it is possible. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're feeling pretty good about that. The yeah. uh, the chart. Chart's filling up nicely. Mm -hmm. It's working out. So last week we hit all of our little squares. Mm -hmm. We got all of our goals. This week we still have a couple to do, but we have one more day. We'll do one more core and one more PT round probably tomorrow. I doubt yeah. that we'll feel like doing So today. again, our, uh, our goals for the week are physical therapy. Mm -hmm. uh, core, core workouts, uh, running, and then our miscellaneous. Yeah, and I didn't really, I forgot to mention this last week, but so last week we did dance. This week we did one dance and one Pilates, but that's going to be like the 
workouts that we do that are like something totally different, just like a shock to the system kind of thing. <clears throat> so we're thinking dance or Pilates or yoga or pickleball or swimming or just like something yeah. different. Yeah. Just to do something different, but still get activity in. Right. And yeah. we're not including walking in that. So, Correct. you know, wa walking is just day. a thing we're going to do every day anyway, uh, but it's not going to be included in the uh, yeah. chart. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's filling and up. It's, so now we're almost two weeks in, uh -huh. 26 to go. It looks awesome. Yeah, actually, look, uh, here it is in uh, in, in kind of a uh, quick, uh, quick succession. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> yeah, so we're really uh, we're really enjoying that. that that's, yeah. that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so uh, like a dork today. I mean, okay, I'm a dork every we day, are. but yeah. Uh, you know, I charged up our uh, gimbal. Uh, as you know, we use an Osmo Pocket, which is a, an awesome gimbal. Uh, as a matter of fact, we have a video uh, where we we covered it. I'll put it up here for you if you're interested. Uh, but we've been using it for three years now. Mm -hmm, yeah, almost. We, we discovered it kind of towards the end of our, our first path. marathon, no, our first marathon training. Oh, yeah. So, which was, it's, we started that three years ago. The 2020 Disney World Marathon was our first marathon. Mm -hmm. So, it was a little, almost three years. Yeah, almost three years. Yeah. And uh, I forgot to put the memory card in it. You got it all charged up though. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. So it's one of those things, right? Yeah. Even even things that are are habits and you know things that you do all the time. You know, sometimes you just have to I don't know roll yeah. roll with it. Yeah. So. so we don't have a whole lot of running footage from today mm -hmm. because it would probably be too bumpy. Yeah. We got a couple, but with just the phone, it's like you know not as. Sweet. Yeah. Um, but you know. Uh, I guess maybe some words of advice, just uh, roll with it whenever some something different you know, comes along. You know, because uh, we're already, you know, we're working on, okay, how are we going to fuel and, and what are we going to, uh, what are we going to take with us when we go? How are we going to eat the night before? We need to make sure, you know, you never want to try something new. So how are we going to do that? And, and, you know, what kind of water bottles and you know, we have our propel powders and, and you know, you, you want to plan for all that kind of stuff. Because again, just like outfits, you don't want to try something new on the day. So, you know, part of our training plan, eventually you'll see us uh, uh, run testing our outfits before the marathon. Because, you know, you, you don't want to you don't want to have uh, issues on the run. So, you know, all of these plans and all these things, but eventually... Something happens. Yeah. So. And that's what I had to tell us too. Like we, we kind of psyched ourselves out last time, last year. La How do I phrase this? The last marathon. Yeah. Which was in January of this year. Right. Um, you know, we, we kind of ate a little differently and we're, you know, whatever. And we didn't have like, we didn't feel the greatest during that race. We'll just say that. We yeah. did not feel great yeah. for most of it. Um, and I think like we got in our heads a little bit about you know, oh gosh, we did this differently and oh, it's going to like, and that, that's what I was telling David yesterday. I was like, okay, we need to test this stuff, but also we need to tell ourselves right now, everything's going to be okay if we can't do it that way. Right. Like if we have to figure out something to eat there, like no big deal, we'll be okay. Yeah. So it's like a balance between like being prepared and also being ready to not go to your plan at all. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I mean, yeah, yeah, seriously. Hey, and here's a little uh, uh, little tidbit of information. Today is the 40th anniversary of the movie Tron. Huh? Wow. So, you know, here we How's are. Big, uh, that's big, awesome. Big Tron fans, yeah. And, again, that's our planned costume theme for the marathon. Correct. So, our running costume theme, Tron. Our after uh, outfits, Tron, and we're gonna have a park Tron. Mm -hmm. outfit. Yeah. That's the plan. All the work is here. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> so we'll let us know how you're doing. Uh, let us know what races you're planning or what races you've already run. 
Uh, let us know how you're feeling. Give us some advice. We love hearing from you and, and we love doing these videos. So uh, we're hoping you enjoy them. Uh, that's kind of uh, what's going on next week's training plan is a three mile mm -hmm. run. We will remember the memory card. We will. We will, we will have some smooth footage. Uh, and because uh, Millie should be doing okay, we'll probably yeah, we'll head out to a, uh, yeah. like to a park mm -hmm. and get some nice footage. And then the following week is a longer run. Five and a half already. Yeah, five and a half. It's too hot. Oh, it's too hot. Yeah, it's, it's too hot. It's too hot. It really is. This is not to... I, I had to get out of my sweaty shirt. As soon as we got home. This is how hot it was. We got back from our run an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, I'm, like, <laughs> I, I'm still, I'm, it's, it's, it's like hot. I, it's like I went swimming. <laughs> you know? It was, we're in this just unrelenting heat wave. Yeah. And the thing is like, this heat advisory came out yesterday. I'm like, well, it's already been over a hundred for a couple weeks. What do you mean a heat advisory? It's a new one. It's going to be even hotter. Yeah. Even hotter. 107 <laughs> tomorrow. 107. It's pretty hot. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, that's that's pretty hot. I, I grew up in the desert and you know we'd hit like 109. Uh but it's it's, it's cool it's in the dry. Shade. Yeah, it's dry. And and you know, when you perspire, uh you, you know, you cool off. But here when it gets above a hundred, uh the the humidity it's like an oven. is like 70, 80 percent. Uh and so your your body's like, hey. You ever hear of AC? Go inside. So anyway, yeah. So we'll see. Oh, God, we're going to have to get out so early if yeah. this heat wave is still mm -hmm. waving yeah. in two weeks. Yeah. Well, but we'll let you know. Remember, we're uh, trying to upload every week. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching. You know, even in the heat, it's always an <laughs> adventure with you.